vaccines teach the body cells how to make a protein that will usually trigger an immune response. The Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are both the mRNA vaccines. While the CoronaVac uses a dead version of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, it is being commonly used in vaccination campaigns across various countries including Asia, South America, Central America and even Eastern Europe. But the question here is of such vaccines in patients with comorbidities is not completely clarified, is it? Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I am going to discuss about the safety of COVID-19 vaccination for patients treated specifically for hypothyroidism. According to a new study being presented at the end of 2022, the Endocrine Society's annual meeting, it has been found that the inactivated as well as the mRNA COVID-19 vaccines both appear to be safe for patients who have been treated for hypothyroidism. The study found that these vaccines do not cause significant fluctuations in the thyroid function and are also not associated with an increased risk of emergency department visits or even unscheduled hospitalizations. No previous studies have looked at any possible relationship between COVID-19 vaccines and unstable thyroid function control among patients receiving a thyroid hormone replacement for hypothyroidism. They added that their reassuring findings should encourage patients treated for hypothyroidism to get vaccinated against COVID-19 for protection from potentially worse COVID-19 related outcomes. The study evaluated an inactivated vaccine called the CoronaVac and an mRNA vaccine which is Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The researchers evaluated data from more than 47,000 COVID-19 vaccine recipients taking levothyroxine for their hypothyroidism condition. The patients were divided into three groups. Firstly was the unvaccinated ones, those who received the corona vaccine were the second and those who received the mRNA vaccine were the third group. Patients who received either type of COVID-19 vaccine were not at increased risk of needing to have their levothyroxine dosage reduced or rather increased. However, COVID-19 vaccination was not associated with a higher risk of emergency department visits or even unscheduled hospitalizations. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.